Anyone who drives a car or trucks goods across the country has been dealing with gas and diesel prices going up and down throughout the year. Those price jumps were largely a reaction to Russia's invasion of Ukraine and Western allies' subsequent sanctions on Moscow. Now, more price uncertainty is on the way. That's because a European Union ban on Russian oil imports kicks in on December 5th. Alongside that, the Group of Seven and some other countries have signed up to a US-pushed price cap on crude sales of $60 per barrel. Both moves are intended to dent a key revenue stream for Russia while keeping global oil supplies flowing. What could that mean for prices at the pump? Gas and diesel prices are higher on average than a year ago but have been trending down in recent weeks. This could change if Russia follows through with its threat to stop exporting oil in response to the price cap. The Kremlin said it won't accept the price cap and that it was assessing the situation. But the cap of $60 is above the current trading price of Russian crude, so a supply cutoff may not be in Russian President Vladimir Putin's best interests. The global diesel market, though, may be more sensitive to market effects that play out from the cap. Stores of the fuel are low in the US, particularly on the East Coast, which is already competing with Europe for diesel, a problem that could become more acute with any loss of Russian supplies. Europe has long relied on Russian refiners for the fuel favoured in sectors like agriculture and trucking. If Russia holds back exports, or if European refiners can't find replacements for Russian oil, the global market price for the fuel could rise. And if diesel becomes more expensive, the cost of transporting goods or growing produce could be passed on to consumers. Existing sanctions have so far had limited impact on Russian oil production. Nonetheless, the US and some European countries are preparing for any possible supply drops. Refiners, gas stations and other buyers got ahead of any supply shortfalls, importing more diesel from Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and India. US refiners are currently well stocked with crude, so any impact on American consumers wouldn't be felt for some time, according to one analyst. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said recently that the US could draw further from the country's strategic petroleum reserve if Russia cuts off its supplies and raises global prices. Any immediate major fallout from the embargo and the price cap appears unlikely, according to some analysts. And the average cost of fuel in the US has fallen more than 30% from record highs in the summer, and experts say this downward trend will continue. This means there's a chance Americans will be paying less at the pump as they travel home for Christmas than they did last year, which was around $3.85. The lower prices could be short-lived, though. They tend to rise on a seasonal basis starting in mid-February, according to Gas Buddy. China relaxing its zero-Covid policy could also cause a price spike, as could any number of unforeseen geopolitical tensions. The uncertainty in the oil market is far from over.